Hey everyone, welcome back to part 21 in topic three of our database class. In this final video for topic three, I'm going to show you how you can create and use views by using the structured query language. Let's get started. And this will be our final topic for our study of the structured query language. So a view is an interesting concept. It is a virtual table that um, is stored as part of the database. And that table is generated from a select statement. So I think one of the best ways to, to understand this is to see examples. So let's look at this first example here where we are creating a view using the create view statement. All right, so here we're creating a view. And what you'll see is the syntax is very similar to a create table statement, except we use the keyword view instead of table. Okay, so create view, and then we give it a name. And then we use the keyword as, followed by a select statement. And that select statement generates some results. In this case, we're getting all of the employee information for employees who work in the sales department. But what we're doing is we are storing that set of results as a virtual table named sales department. And then this will be available to us as an object in the database for querying. So we can then query against this view. So consider this select statement down here, right? Select employee name from sales department. Now sales department in this case is not a table, right? It is the result of this SQL statement stored as a view. So we can write SQL statements that query views. So let's just take what we were working on a moment ago and build it into a view and see if we can get some further insights into this. So a moment ago, if I recall correctly, I had some sort of statement here. Yeah, this one here, if you remember. So this basically fetches, we did a little subquery approach here to uh, get the information about all of our employees who work in the capital. Okay. So let's see if we can use that as the basis for creating a view. And that's a very simple thing to do. We already have our select statement. We know that this runs our output here. And the only employees we're seeing are those who work in the capital, which is precisely what we want. So we can then do view. And I don't know, maybe I call this capital employees or capital employee. And then I use the keyword as. And of course, if I wanted to make this a little more readable from a human perspective, I might choose to tab these things over a little bit. So this entire statement then is going to create a view named capital employee, which will then be stored as a database object in my database. And that object will essentially represent the results of this SQL select query. So let's run this. And you'll see we don't get any output except for a message indicating that our command completed successfully. The reason we don't get any output is because we're not running this SQL statement. What we're doing is we're saying, use this SQL statement as the basis for a new view named capital employee. Now, if we take a look over here in our object explorer on the left, you'll see below tables, there is another option named views. And if I refresh, you'll see that we now have a view in there named capital employee. And what's interesting about this is I can, as we saw in that slide, query against that view. So let's just see what we can do here. So let's say that I did something like this. I don't know, select star from capital employee. So and I will run that. And you'll see that we basically get all the data that comes from the result of this other select statement. All right, so we had this select statement here that serves as the basis of the view, right? So this is the basis of the view. And as you can now see, we're allowed to query against that. So I can select things from this or I can filter this further, right? Like I could say something like, I don't know, give me everyone that was hired before 2020 
all of my capital employees. So I could put something else in here where a higher date is less than, well, let's say the 1st of January 2020. And we can filter those out. So it's interesting, right? This capital employee does not exist as a table, right? It's just a select statement. So we're then writing another select statement to query against this select statement, which we've decided is useful in some way. So we've stored it over here in our database as a view. So you can use this to write SQL statements to query against views. If you're writing software, like maybe you're writing some sort of data-driven web app or a mobile app for your phone or a desktop application that talks to a database. Well, that app can query the view just like you can as a human. So it creates a lot of powerful possibilities for us. Okay. Views are just a convenience factor or they can be used for security purposes. So it's a view of the data, a specific view of the overall data. In this case, my view is I'm only allowed to see employees who work in the capital. So you can imagine from a security perspective, one of the things that I could do is I could set up this view and then allow certain employees to only have access to this view. So if they have no need to see my other employees, then I could limit them, limit their authorization to just use this view, which is only showing a subset of all of the employee data. And you can probably imagine a lot of other security related scenarios where the use of views could be very, very effective. Like for example, if I have customer data, and uh, some of that data is very sensitive, like maybe I have their birth date or their credit card numbers or their social security number or something like that stored in my customer table. And uh, I don't want certain employees to have access to that customer information. What I could do is I could set up a view that does not include that sensitive information and then allow this hypothetical set of employees to only have access to the view rather than to the underlying table, which contains the uh, sensitive information. Okay. So this is another viable and interesting use of views.